much nicer. I don't know why I don't do this all the time. This is way more comfortable. Ow. It was a dinosaur. More dinosaurs back here, I should be aware of. Hello everyone, I'm here today to share with you guys my favorites of the month. And today we're doing that in my family room because I actually brought down a whole bunch of makeup to do my makeup today, which is what I do when um, the kids are at home and they're not at like programs and stuff. I'll just come down and do my makeup if I'm like getting ready to film. And I figured I might as well just stay here because a lot of these are my favorites anyway. I feel like it's been forever since I've done a favorites video, so I'm really excited to sit down with you guys and share some products that I've been absolutely loving. Let me know if you guys want me to do like a disappointing products of the month or something like that, or I'll combine them next month. I don't know. Uh, we're just gonna snuggle up on my couch and we're gonna ignore my pants that have foundation stains on them from today. Don't worry about it, it's fine. I can get that out, right? But leave me a comment down below. Uh, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. And without further ado, let's get into this. So the first product I want to talk about today is this foundation, and I have been using this so much in this past month. Actually, this last like two months. It is the Physicians Formula Healthy Foundation. This is their newer foundation launch, and it's so good. I love the way it looks on my skin. I have it on my skin right now. It's really easy to apply to. They have this little like, applicator thing. It's very similar to the Tarte Shape Tape foundation in like applicator, so you can just like streak it on your face. Really easy to blend out, buildable coverage. I would say like medium to full, depending on like what you're feeling. And it looks, it just looks really good on my skin. Next up is the color corrector. And this isn't necessarily a new product, but it, I've been using it really recently and I found that it works really well for me. And it's the Maybelline Master Camo um, Crayon and this is their pink one. And I've been using this a lot underneath the eyes because it not only brightens, but it also color corrects a little bit. And I just find that this color, like the shade, like really works well. I've been using a lot of like salmons and more orangey tones, but I find that a lot of them tend to be almost a little too dark for me. The formula is more of a cream base, so you can see the shade there. It's not super pink or anything. Actually, you can't see that at all. I will zoom in so you can see that. And it just walks this nice line of not being too liquidy and not too creamy either. So I really like that as well, but yeah. I have been using this a lot lately. Oh, gotta roll up my sleeves. Fuzzy sweater was not the play. Next up is a palette that I've only been using for basically like a week and I don't care. I'm gonna include it anyway. It's the ColourPop Innuendo Highlighting Palette and it looks like this and it's beautiful. I'm wearing it on my cheeks today. I'm using the, um, like a mixture basically of all of the top row here and they're just, they, they're so creamy, very, very pigmented, like, Let's just swatch these, shall we? So you can see up close, they have almost this like wet look when they reflect light, which is so super pretty. It's not glittery in any way. And it just, it's almost this metallic-y effect. I don't know what it is, but I am in love with these shades. I think they are beautiful. Highly recommend this palette. Now I went to a drugstore primer and I feel like no one has talked about this primer and it's so good. It is by Pixi, it is the Rose Flash Balm and it's actually like a three in one. You can use that as a moisturizer, as a primer, or also as a face mask. Like honestly, when I first heard about this, I was kind of skeptical, like the whole thought of putting on a face mask and then putting a bunch of makeup on and going about my day seemed a little bit weird. But this is wonders for my skin. It smooths out fine lines, it minimizes pores, it just makes my skin look flawless. Basically, anytime I need to leave my house, this is the only primer I'll use. I don't know why, seriously, I've never heard anyone talk about it. It is amazing. Next up, I wanna talk about a Too Faced palette. And like, I'll be, I'll be honest with you, Too Faced launches like a new product every 30 seconds. And sometimes products can kind of get lost in the shuffle because there's never anything that really like stands out when you launch like 300 products a year. So honestly, when I first saw their chocolate gold palette, I was kind of like, all right, another chocolate palette. Cool. But honestly, guys, when I first put this on, it is a primarily a metallic palette. They have a couple of matte shades in here as well for like blending it out or whatever. Sorry, the clouds have decided to hide the sun. So you can't really see the blinginess of this palette right now. They are so creamy, so blinding, so beautiful on the eyes. You guys can see in the close up what they look like. They are amazing, amazing metallics. So if you like a good blingy eye, you'll probably really like this palette. And next up we have a finishing powder. This is by Stellar and it is the um, Haze Finishing Powder. It has almost like a pinky under, I'm very careful when opening this. Don't get it all over my floor. But this is one of the few finishing powders that when I actually put it on, I do notice that everything looks a little bit more diffused. You only need the tiniest amount. It is a very, very microfine milled powder and it just, it goes on beautifully. It doesn't crease, it doesn't look cakey, 
cheeky on the skin. I really like this one. Now onto my concealer of choice right now, which is the Makeup Revolution. This is their Conceal and Define Full Coverage um, Concealer. This, a, a lot of people have been saying, is a dupe for the Tarte Shape Tape. I think it's in some ways better than the Tarte Shape Tape. I find that it's not as like crazy amounts of coverage, though it is still full coverage. I think like no, Tarte Shape Tape is on like a whole nother level. But I feel like this one isn't as drying. With the Tarte Shape Tape, I have to use like an oil or something with it to make it a little bit more malleable. Otherwise it just like settles into like lines and stuff. Like I don't like it. The formula, while a liquid is a little bit on the thicker side, so it has more of like a creamy texture to it. And it just, it smooths down really nicely. It looks really good underneath the eyes. It settles with a lot of different powders really nicely. I really like it. What else do we have in here? Oh, mascara. Okay, well this this should come at no surprise to anyone. It's the Benefit Bad Gal Bang Mascara. I've been talking about this so much since it launched. I think this is a great mascara. I'm wearing it on my eyes right now. It just gives a lot of volume, a lot of definition, a lot of length, and it's really, really easy to use. The only thing I will say is because the wand is very flexible, it does get onto my lids a little bit. Um, but other than that, I it does like come off really easily. And uh, yeah, no, it's a great mascara. All right, what else do we have in here? Oh my gosh, <laughs> I'm getting so hot. So I know I've talked about this pencil before, like a lot, and I don't care because it is that good. I'm obsessed with it. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Long Wear Eye Pencil, and this is in the shade brown, which is different because the last time I had a favorites, it was black. They're different colors, I'm just saying. Once I put this on my waterline, it does not budge. It will not run down my face. I will not get raccoon eyes from it. It's just a really, really good pencil. And it's from the drugstore, which is awesome. Okay, two more favorites. One is by Urban Decay. It's the um, Kristen Leanne palette. This is their mini one, Daydream. The Daydream Eye palette. I talked about this. When did I talk about this? Oh, it was in the haul update. That's what it was. And uh, like, I mean, look at these shadows. They're all matte. They're all really pretty, wearable, easy shadows. It's just like, it's such an easy palette you know and I love the undertones I love this peachy shade here and everything is it's not too red it's not too orange it's not too yellow it's just this perfect shade I don't know what it is but these shades are beautiful she did such a good job with it highly recommend this and the last product I want to mention is actually a pair of lashes and I know I never talk about lashes um, because I don't like them I just I don't like them but these ones actually were recommended from a youtuber I forget who it is but I will find out for you guys and I will um, put it up on the screen but these are the lily lashes in canes and I actually use them in the subscribers choose my makeup video um, and I had those on and they're just they give a lot of pretty volume where you can still see the eyelid, which is I think my biggest thing. Whenever I feel like I look like a clown because I'm wearing false lashes, it's because you can't see my lid anymore and it just looks really, it just looks really weird on me. But these ones are nice and fluffy. They're spread apart enough that they're not too overpowering on the eyes and just the shape is really nice. It's fanned out more of a wing shape um, and they just sit on the eyes really, really easy. They're easy to apply. I mean, this is coming from me. Like it takes me years to put on false lashes. But these not so much, they're probably one of the few like full lashes that I actually will go out of my way to like find a way to wear because I think they're really pretty and they look really nice on. And that is everything for this video. Give it a big thumbs up if you like these favorites videos and you wanna see more of them. Let me know if you wanna see like a disappointing products of the month video or I can combine them next time. And that is everything. I hope you guys are having an amazing start to March and we'll see you guys all in my next video. Love you girls. Mwah.